Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be the 51st state board game. I've got the complete master set which includes two expansions uh, as well as the core game. We're going to be looking at this and see what we think. Uh, and today's going to be slightly different if for one reason only and I'm going to do a bit of flexing. And I promise not easy, easy, easy crap. So my lovely friend has made me this a gorgeous quilted blanket thing. Um, there's so much to look at it, there's so many colours, like it's amazing. I absolutely adore this. Um, if I could make it into a cape and wear it like a superhero, I would. So thank you very much, Andrea, and I promise that's my flexing done. Cheers, guys! So, this is everything that comes in the box. We have a rule book, obviously. We have a setup guide that's double-sided with kind of like a turn reference as usual that you normally get in games. We have four different packs of cards, which this one is, uh, I'm sorry my camera's not focusing, but it's Hidden Forge. We've got Hideout, we've got Courthouse, oh, this is not working, I'm sorry. Uh, on the top anyway, and what's this one? We have the docks, so I know there's locations, there's events, uh, there's places that you can turn into like places in your state, so we'll see kind of how that plays out. We have a load of tokens, so these are the red gun ones, I'll get a closer view of these in a minute. These are for locations, the orange ones. These are resources, gas or fuel, and little meeple characters for your workers. There's also this here, which is like a, a solid, I'm guessing it's got all the tiles in. It's uh, kind of, things slide out if you pick it up. Let's just, we'll have a look, we'll have a look at that in a minute. And we have these tokens here. Don't even try to raise me you've become so-and-so's arch enemy. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, okay, so here's the goal of the game, which is written onto the front of the uh, rule book. And it says, your goal is to build a new state in this post-apocalyptic world. Whether you command merciless mutants or brave New Yorkers, your aim is always simple and clear. Conquer new lands, incorporate new regions, and destroy everyone who is of no value. How will you achieve this? It's pretty simple. Many cards in the game will let you gain victory points. Use them as often as you can because when any player reaches 25 victory points, they will trigger the end game sequence. You finish the round and then gain one victory point for each card you have in your state and you add it to your score. And now the most important thing, the highest score wins the game. Pretty novel, no? Huh? Okay, so as promised, here are the little token pieces. Uh, I'll explain a little about each one. So these are kind of uh, making adjustments, I believe, to buildings. You've got your little workers that get you resources. You've got guns or um, weapons. These are quite cute, actually. I really like these. I'll just get a close-up of them. Oh, my this camera's rubbish. I apologise, guys. Uh, we have fuel, which are just these little blue ones here that look like a gas can. You've got these, which are like bricks, I guess. You use them for construction. Uh, and I think that's... So this is the victory points tracker. Uh, as you can see, it goes quite high. Um, 25 points is where someone wins, I believe. Uh, the first is 25. Okay, so this is intriguing me. It's just like a piece of paper wrapped around cardboard that says open in case of emergency. And as I said earlier, I'm guessing it's like the tiles and things. But I really like the way they've done this. Like it's got a really cool look to it. Um, let's see what's inside. Okay, so inside this we have, as I suppose, some tokens and tiles. Uh, and these are the different states. So we have this, which they're all the same numbers and things, I believe. Uh, oh, nope, sorry, they are different. They are different, yep. So each one has a different uh, ability and what certain tokens do. Let me just see if I can try and get this to focus a bit better. So this is all the state boards. Uh, they're pretty cool. I like the artwork, especially the Mutants Union and New York. I mean, this guy is pretty creepy. And so is this dude here. Uh, the Merchant Skill guy again. Yeah, he does remind me of the guy from Resident Evil 4. Maybe it's just this stature. Uh, we'll and here's something I've just realised. If you flip them over, there's male and female characters on each side. So we've just seen all the males, and now these are the females. So, I do prefer the male mutant. She's a bit bog standard in a way, a bit Cthulhu y maybe, mixed with Mass Effect. Uh, we've got a merchant. I believe she's the merchant. Let's have a look. Yep. Now, she reminds me of the Red Evil 4 guy with this thing on. 
with the face mask see if i can get that in a bit better there we go do you see what i mean comment and comment if you agree with me because it can't just be me i know she's a female but that thing around the face reminds me of him cool okay and here we have the rest of the tiles so you've got contacts icons which are the arrows uh, I believe red is attack, blue is defence, and I'm not sure what grey is, and maybe neutral or something. We've got bullet tokens, which you can use for any resource, but you can't make any resource a bullet. Uh, we've got construction, we've got police, we've got some more contact tokens, we have a character token. Uh, we've got these. That's the red ones there, and that's it. So here's all the tokens. I now believe this is a first player token. It would make sense uh, as there's only one of them. We have our construction tokens as we saw earlier, our police, uh, the icons, we've got some bullets, we have our arrows and that is all of the tokens. Ah sorry yeah I wanted to show you this again uh, if I can get it to so there's a thing in the game called don't uh, raising which means you destroy someone's building uh which could be a very bad thing okay and so the last bit is all the cards so here we have a new era and there's over 100 cards there, i believe we have the two decks of the 51st state base game and then we have winter here there's a heck of a lot of cards they're nicely organized in groups which is good uh should be fun to play uh i might do a review and a how to play if there's interest let me know in the comments anyone's got any ideas whatever let me know that'd be great cheers everyone bye thank you if you've watched this far please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're feeling generous uh it means the world to me and every subscriber that goes up it just it honestly it helps uh especially when i'm doing the mental health videos to feel like i am going to make a positive difference so if you want to share these videos, whether the games or the mental health ones, whatever, go for it. That would be great. If you know anyone that wants some training doing or a talk doing about mental health, things like that, let me know. Um, I'll put my email address in the description, maybe, or just send me a message through YouTube or comment. Yeah, comment. Uh, if you're serious, I'll send you my email address and we can kind of work something out and that would be great. Thanks for watching, like I say, and uh, take care, guys. Bye.